round. Good afternoon, welcome to Inside Edge. It is the tea break here in the second test. I'm joined by Stephen Fleming and Brendan McCullum. We're going to get into a few conversations about some great innings that have been played. But first of all, yesterday I was there in New Plymouth. It was the Dream 11 Super Smash and we witnessed the highest score in domestic T20 by Michael Bracewell at Pukakura Park and it was a fantastic innings. They were chasing 224 to win and they were 45 for 5. And he went about his business. It's not a big ground, but some of these sixes went many a mile. The clubbing that he did, the sound off his bat was unbelievable. He had to do it. He had a wee bit of help at the other end. And they went out to the stage they needed 39 off three overs. And that was the shot to win the game. 141 in a 2020 innings. Wellington run they had to because they needed to win. It was a very special winning. So what I thought we'd do, if we look at the scorecard, look at that, 227 for four of 20 overs. You don't want to be a bowler in this game. The Firebirds, 228 for eight. They won with one ball to spare. Michael Brace, 141 off 65 balls. 11 sixes and 11 fours in that innings. So it was the greatest innings in domestic 2020 history based on numbers 141 so what I thought we'd do then is bring in the two men who probably actually played the most and watched the most cricket Stephen Fleming Brendan McCullum good afternoon I feel privileged to be sitting along you two gentlemen again and um, talk about the innings that you guys have seen obviously you're not going to talk about yourselves I mean I can do that but the ones that stick out in your mind from having coached played around the world what what are the great innings that you've seen well, the greatest innings that I've witnessed uh, and been part of with a teammate doing it was Nathan Astle, uh, the 2-2-2 two -two -two at Lancaster Park. And I, um, watching Michael Bracewell there and the sound of the bat, it took me back to that day when Nathan was having his day out. And it's like a gunshot when they were hitting the ball and it, Nathan was hitting some, some big balls that day of a good, a good bowling attack. Uh, and the sound of it, there was just no mishitting. And that's often a quality of... Uh, the innings is you look at very little mishits. It was just absolute power and precision of where the ball was hitting the bat. And for a long period of time, Nathan did that and almost won us an unwinnable game. So that that's the greatest innings I've seen live from a, a, a New Zealander. Um, unfortunately, there been a number of great innings against us. <laughs> but that was, uh, without doubt, the best innings I saw. I remember that game. I, I was in Timaru. And, um, sorry, I was in Otago. I was, I was playing at University of Otago Oval before... They did the upgrade, Brendan. It was the old grandstand there, and it was all wooden. We stopped the game. It was a club game. We stopped it so we could we could watch the back end of Nathan Astle's innings because it was just so special to watch. And you're right. I just remember even on TV the gunshot sound. Um, and uh, you know it, it takes a bit to stop club cricket, as you know. But um, Baz, uh, yeah, well that that was a wonderful innings. Of course, I wasn't didn't see it live, but. I, th I sort of trying to rack my brains as we're in preparation for this. And I look at, well, Ross Taylor, I know it's his final test. His 290 at Perth was uh, quite incredible innings. Kane Williamson's played a number of innings alongside BJ Watling as well and some rear guard um, fights. I'd say probably the, the best innings domestically, I'll, I'll go down that route, was I saw Neil Broom from Otago play an innings in the Champions League against Perth Scorchers which, you know, there's many international uh, innings which I've seen, and Stephen was one of one of those on, uh, on occasion over in South Africa. But from a best domestic innings that I've seen on such a big stage, I'd say Neil Broom's 100 in the Champions Trophy against Perth Scorchers. You were there as well, Sid. No, I wasn't. No, I'd, I'd actually retired. Did we not pick you up? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. I hey, actually might have been batting where you used to bat. Yeah, he did. Oh. Yeah. The, uh, thanks for that, Baz. Yeah, really yeah. good. Yeah. I'd actually retired and you went and won a competition without me, so oh. just showed that there we go. I was waiting you back. I mean, I, my problem is... <laughs> Sorry. Um, I mean, I've been commentating nearly 10 years now, I think it was, and obviously played, but it's going to be a little bit... I don't know. I'm sorry for you, but actually, Baz, you've got about three or four that stick out. Um, I mean, you talk about domestically. you got a 170 in the 50-over final at Eden Park. It was the first trophy Otago won in 22 years. And um, again, when you talk about that noise flim, I went out and batted with Baz and we're about 112 for two off 10 overs. But the crisp sound that was off your bat that day, just it echoed. It was Eden Park out of Oval. Um, and then obviously I witnessed your 300, but also the fastest 100 in your last test match here. It, it were pretty special for me. Um, 
Do you, you remember those ones from bats? I, well, he didn't get the nod because he missed hit that one going for 200, <laughs> which should have been up the, uh, up the halfway up the embankment. So he missed hit one, yeah. and that was the difference between him and Nathan. But uh, mm. yeah, incredibly, incredibly quick. Um, and, and power hitting there, there are a lot and Brendan you do feature in a lot of them but uh, the nature in which you took the game to to teams for such a long period of time was as you know quite inspiring for others um, and the ability to hit the ball so clean for such a long period of time was I always had ad- admiration for players who did that there is one ma- massive oversight as well I think um, the 237 oh, I've the, just had a view of Martin Guptill yeah, scored in the best. World Cup quarter final yeah so. Yeah, I think I've got, got to be able to read. I've got some new glasses. I'll tell you, I've got some new glasses. I put them on, I can't see. So they're not going very well. So I'm going to have to reach forward to just uh, the person that sent that one in. Gupta was 237. Um, I still can't read it. Uh, Stephen Holloway uh, has texted it here. And there's another one in there with the same name. Um, and also Scott uh, Cowboy agreed with the Nathan Astle one. Well, we're going to be embarrassed. There's, there's so many. Oh, there are Martin Crow, the 100 in the World Cup yeah. against Australia. They had real significance. And a number there that people are going to say, hey, can you not remember that? But the beauty is there is a number... Um, of great innings by New Zealand players that we can reflect on now, and, and especially this group of late, mm. who are uh, creating great moments all the time. What about yourself? What What is the one that stuck out for you in your career? Oh, for me, Baz mentioned it was the the, the World Cup game in South Africa. There was uh, a number of reasons why that, that was important. We had to win it. We'd never beaten South Africa in South Africa, um, and they posted a good score early on at Johannesburg, which is quite a daunting ground. So that's, from a personal point of view, the the best that I played. I remember getting a really well compiled six against Australia in a one day game and I batted with you you at the other end when Brett Lee bowled 160.8 I'm surprised you haven't brought that up Flynn because I remember the, the conversation when we walked out to bat Brett and I, you, you were there and um, we talked about the keeper was so far back this is your after dinner speech this isn't is my it? after dinner speech I'm ruining my <laughs> are you sure you're going to waste this <laughs> no no it's true, but it's a true story so we said to okay. Flynn opportunity if they bowl a bouncer we could run a single and then the first ball was 148. It was still on. The next one was 156. Then he bowled one 158. And Flem just come, just nodded down and said, I don't think the single's on anymore. Well, no, because theoretically, the faster it bowls, the quicker it gets yeah. to the keeper. So that means it's going to have more chance of being run out. So he needed to be about 145 for us to take it. Yeah, but the keeper was outside the 30-yard circle. And then at the end of the over, he bowled two balls at 160-plus Ks. And I walked down to Flem and I said to him, well, I don't think it can get any worse than that. And Flem said, yeah, yeah, it could have been. Oh, I could have been facing it. <laughs> so uh, he was sitting on his handle. But, yeah, it is right. I mean, Hagley's you know, had some special ones. Baz, I remember yours here. But let's hope that Ross Taylor gets an opportunity to have a special winnings here as well. Yeah, let's hope so. Well, so he's certainly got a great platform. I never would have thought this morning that the, that New Zealand would be sitting at 202 for one and Ross Taylor was uh, was yet to bat. But what a great platform he's going to get. He's going to get a tremendous reception as well when he walks out to bat, and quite rightly so. He's going to go down as one of our greatest ever, and it's fantastic he gets the opportunity to, to say goodbye to all the New Zealand people and on his own terms, and his family's here today too, and I'm sure it'll be quite an emotional moment. It certainly will be. Well, that's Inside Edge. Uh, thanks to everyone who's throwing in all their things. It's, uh, I need to get my glasses checked so I can read them properly. But it is there are so many innings that you can go on to. But hopefully uh, Tom Latham's today will be very special to him. He's the captain. He's at his home ground. And also they've had some challenges. They need to win this test match to draw the series. So New Zealand will look to continue on. They are 202 for one of 54 overs. And it is Latham on 118 and Devin Conway on 28.